Hello, beautiful people of the internet. My name is Ryan. Welcome back to The Breath. I keep freaking... Sp uh, it's episode three of The Legend of Zelda Breath of the Wild. There's only one the, and it comes in the middle of the title. You know, I've been uh, really, in the last two episodes, enjoying the, like, wealth of new information to learn and the wealth of new, like, controls to master and objectives uh, to, to chase after. I know I've said it, but this is a gorgeous video game. The light in particular, like, the sky always looks incredible. The light on Link, I love. It just kind of always looks like golden hour, even when it's the middle of the day, or... I mean, I guess here it kind of is golden hour. I don't know. That combined with the music just means that, like, I'm in my happy place right now. <laughs> Welcome back. In the last episode, uh, we were told by the old man to chase after some shrines. And we have started doing that. Uh, we have one shrine down. We have three to go. We also explored a little bit of the Temple of Time last episode. We kind of got our bearings. We did some incredible combat. Oh, no. And now we're straight into it. No! You're an enemy. Oh, God. Okay, we have a puzzle here. What is this? Is this a magnetism thing? Can I do that again? What button was it? This one? Nope. Okay. You can't see me here. Look. Crawling in and out of these, like... These robot... Dead body spider things. It's. I had to jump off. Uh, run, panic. The, the bumping music. I don't know how to do anything to them. Like, I don't know how to turn them off. I don't know that I can. I'm just going to ignore them for now. Looks like, there's another one here. We'll try and, uh, ancient spring, sure. No? This is not another one. Fantastic news. I would like to search you. There it is. I really hope we have a use for all of these ancient springs eventually. And screws. Otherwise, uh... Yo! Okay, 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 okay. If I'm right on top of you, you can't find me. Not true, not true, not true, not true. One shot? No! No, Link! This is a beautiful game, by the way. A beautiful game. Shit. Link is in the grass, on fire. Burning. Dang it. Okay. Well, uh... We know which one does it now. So we can hopefully just ignore that one. Flash, it only really did it when we got close. So. There's an owl to my left. I don't know if the owls could be interacted with at all, but I hear, I hear the audio line every single time. So at least that one is is mean. There's rocks blocking the end of this thing. Ancient screw. There's a pillar I can use here. I think I'm going to need an explosive of some sort. What do you guys think? Ah, oh, it's a bad one. That's a bad one. I was getting ready to say. Do you think that's a good one or a bad one? I have a, a rock. Okay. 
I always forget that I can climb stuff. Hypothetically, I can just climb these, right? Okay. Yes, hypothetically, I can climb them. Hmm. Do I just climb over? I could just try climb. Oh, what are you? No! Okay, at least you're not very strong. The Boko Spear is badly damaged. That just. Oh, that just means my next one will. will crit. Do they piece themselves to get back together again? Is that what's happening here? Oh my god, they do. And they throw each other. Okay. Is there any reason to be here? Ow. <laughs> I'll just run. Oh, and I'm out of stamina. Will you chill? Will you leave me alone if I just run out of here? Let me just climb this. Oh, no. Okay, that was not the one to climb. Off to a great start here in the Eastern Abbey. I think that's what it's called, the Eastern Abbey. My thought here is we just, uh... Ooh, that looks like it's a, uh... There's a red dot for an enemy there. Hold up, what is Hero's Path Mode? Oh my god, this is where I've been? That's so handy! Wow! Also, I am going to... I am such a sucker for this kind of thing. I am going to love looking at this later. Holy cow. That's so neat. And we... Oh, that's so cool! Change speed. <laughs> oh, I am so easily entertained. All right, so it does go to sleep eventually. So then my thought is we just climb this real quick. Get over. We're good. There it is. Ah! Oh! Can I, can I full kill him? Oh, I can't full kill him. All right, there's a sword here. So, let's grab the sword here in a second. I keep thinking these will eventually really die. I can use a, Baco a Bacoblin arm as a weapon. That's kind of dark. Skeletal arm that keeps moving even after it's severed from its body. Kind of gross. Just strap it to your back. It'll do in a pinch. And it'll pinch you when you're not expecting it. Old and fragile. Quick to break. All right. Nope. You just keep coming back together. Okay. Well, you can cut the head off. Let's just go ahead and break our, our thing. And then we'll grab a uh, this traveler sword. Keeps putting his arm back together. Can I just drop? I guess we'll drop this spear. My inventory is going to be so full for so long. All right, let's get out of here. We made it to a shrine. We made it. I wonder if we get another rune. And or another, uh, another puzzle like it. Any runes over here? I don't see anything. All right, let's uh, let's see what's down below. There are multiple things to lock onto. Press ZL again to switch your focus. 
Wait a second. Is that what that is? So there is a lock-on mechanic for enemies. I thought it just... Oh, okay. Let's see. I'll test it out here in a second. To you who sets foot in this shrine, I am Jabayish. In the name of the goddess Hylia, I offer this trial. So the first one was a monk. Bomb trial. These look like constellations. Okay. New rune. Becca Slate has been authenticated. Distilling rune. It really looks like they're taking data and putting it in a liquid form. Which makes me question what Link was swimming in during his blue liquid bath at the start of the game. A remote bomb... Detonated remotely. Force of the blast can be used to damage monsters or destroy objects. They're both round and cube bombs. Use whichever best fits the situation. One would roll, one would stay. Okay. Teach me the ways, game. Which one do I need? Change runes by holding and then switching. Let's do a one of these. Oh, I love this music. Wait, but what's the button to place it, though? This one? Nope, that's focus. This one? Yes. Let's go around the corner so we don't blow up. I can still see it, though. L? Oh, there it is. All right. It's like there's a delay before you get one back. Listen, I would like to think I am a... Careful person. I don't know that I deserve to have a bomb. I would say probably a thing that uh, you shouldn't let me have. I guess I am 100 plus years old. But I wasn't getting more mature for those hundred years of sleeping, I don't think. A traveler's claymore. Basic two-handed sword often wielded by aspiring adventurers. Immense weight can knock enemy shields out of their hands. Inventory's full. I, yeah, it's not about to be. Giving me a ten weapon? Plus now I know that I can get more... Uh, I can get more swords? Hell, I'll get rid of all kinds of stuff. Get rid of the Korok leaf. Get rid of this thing. Get rid of this thing. Now give me this, the clay. I'll equip it immediately. Oh, it's huge. Uh... Wow, this is so cool. <laughs> oh, I just feel like a little baby paladin or something holding this big great sword. Oh, this is so neat. How have I never... Why have I never played a Zelda game? This is... I, I, I feel like I have made a mistake. All right, let's chuck it, because chucking it is fun. Hit the button. Didn't do any damage. Nailed it. Okay. Um, okay, 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 okay. We're wanting one of those. I think we're wanting to uh, drop and then get off. Oh, no. Pick up. That's going to work. It's going to work just fine. Three, two, one. Boom. God, this is fun. There is a ladder down there just in case you don't want to be on top of this thing, I guess. You hear lots of... Oh, Lord. Now you're thinking with portals. All right. What is that? What in the world? Okay. So now we must be looking at this.
I need to get rid of at least one level. Rolls down. I mean, that's so fucking cool. So I wonder if this one is just to show us how it works. Oh, that looks like that's a chest over there. Can I? Can I go? Oh, yes, I can. No damage? I love the kicking in emotion. Amber, a fossilized resin with a caram caramelesque sheen to it. Been valued as a component in decorations and crafting to ancient times. True. This is awesome. I'm so ready to throw bombs through the air using machinery. Cool. Uh, I also, I have to say, so far I like this one better than magnetism. This seems a little bit cooler than magnetism. Your resourcefulness in overcoming this trial speaks to the promise of a hero. In the name of Goddess Hylia, I bestow upon you the spirit orb. Do you have a twin brother? Because I, I swear to God, I just earlier today, maybe it was yesterday, last night, I saw you, basically. Dun, 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 dun. May the goddess smile upon you. I'm hearing an awful lot about this goddess Hylia. I don't know that we've seen any. Uh... Oh, interesting. Cut down their hiding place. Uh, I've seen anything, any like imagery of. <laughs> Yep, you guys all die. Thank you. Thank you very much. Okay. Now, how do we do this? Yeah? One of those? Blow it up? No! It's... I thought that was going to work. Okay. Did not work. Thought for sure that was going to kill that. Did not happen. Okay. No, what are you doing? What are you doing? Wrong button. I hit the wrong button. That's on me. My bad. I made it sound like it was your fault. I don't want to know. I hope nobody's counting. I hope nobody's counting the deaths. I hope the game is not counting. I've played too many games with with death counters recently, aka death counters that I I kept track of. Hollow Knight was like 313 deaths. Bloodborne, we're at like 150 and we're barely into the game. I don't want to know how many it's going to be. We're at like five or six in a couple episodes here. Nope, you're the bad one. You're the bad one. You're the bad one. And I always use my sprint. Okay. So I don't know for sure, but I would call that a success on the shrine, yeah? Like, um, we have the bomb trial here that we've done. Rip th rip there. Uh, the Temple of Time we, we checked out already. I think maybe... Let's look towards the red marker. This stuff is so high that I don't know that I can actually uh like get up to it just yet. Now here's the thought. Sorry, I'm th I'm sitting here thinking. No, 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 no. How can you see me from there? What do you mean? Here's what I'm thinking. Can I blow this thing up? 
No, I'm just going to die? Okay, great. Good to know. I was thinking maybe this thing can be blown up and there's loot inside of it. So, shrine two is done. The red one is like... Up there? I don't see any way to climb that other than going through the snowy area, which I don't feel prepped for. So, I think we go the other way. Rather than straight up here. Let's go around first. So, let's go here. And go around that side of the map. Although... Yeah, yeah. There are also a couple other things in the... Uh in the area of the tower that I had not gotten to yet. We did the skull thing, but I think there were at least a couple other things that I was looking at that looked interesting to me. So, oh, first off, there's something in here. Can I swim? I have to be able to swim, right? Is there a button to, to swim? To, to go down? No? Shit. Alright, so like... There's some puzzle here, right? Something in the water. Oh, there's lots of things in the water. Okay, we're gonna get uh, we're gonna get used to using our map very soon, very very, uh, very early. Let's go ahead and chuck one of those there. And I don't know that I know how to use it. I can move these things, these big boulders, but I don't know what good that does me. Ooh, I bet I can also magnetize them, cause they look right. They look. Yes. Sweet. So what does that allow me to do? <laughs> can I break it? Oh, no, 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 no. But I can't bump it. Uh-oh. Okay. This might be it, actually. I guess it could be something like, uh, use this to, like, push it? Or... Pull it? Maybe push it. But how do I get it out? Okay, we're thinking, we're thinking. Is there any place where there is a... Shallow slant? Over here, it's more shallow. So maybe on this side. That looks pretty deep. Oh! I can just get the... the, the... Well, that works. That's much better. <laughs> he kicks it. I love the kick. The kick is so funny. Awesome. All right, we figured it out. Uh, a valuable ore that gives off a mesmerizing iridescence, similar to the inside of a seashell, contains the power of water. Nope. Okay. It, it highlights yellow when you can move it. What do we have here? More amber. Cool. All right, so... Oh, baby, we're learning. Nope. Uh, uh, zoom. Grab that. Delete stamp. Let's go. Let's go. We're learning. I should have figured that out. It was right beside the thing that gives you magnetism. There's all these heavy metals. But we did figure it out eventually. This took us a while. There was also that long thing, though. Hold up. Hold up. Hold up. Hold up. What about this? 
Actually, I'll take that in a second. First off, are those fi more fish? There are bigger fish there. I want to have one. And by have one, I mean I want to eat one. All right. So this to me looks like it could be a like, a, like a, a gangplank. Like we could use it to cross something, right? Okay. But well, what do we use it to cross? <laughs> I don't know. Is there loot over here? It's probably loot at the bottom of the water or something. No? I mean, honestly, I'm not seeing anything yet that even needs looting here. So maybe this is just in the wrong spot. I'm going to keep this thing here. And we'll use that metal uh, sometime in the future. Probably, I think. Mmm, hello. More loot. And. Oh, that's so cute. That's so cute. Can I kill it? Let me kill it, please. Ah, oh, there it is. Hop-footed frog, a quick frog that can be found hopping near around around near water. Pick it with monster parts to draw its speed boost effect. I used my big heavy sword that is only uh, has limited duration to kill a frog. Shouldn't have done that, probably. All right, so there's some loot over here. What is that? Oh, okay. Uh, it's like an anchor. Huh. Can I just grab those? No. Then what is this good for? What does that... What does that do? Hmm. This is obviously a ramp to stand on. Wait, maybe this is where the little plank goes. I think that could be, honestly. I don't understand what the metal has to do with anything though. I'm just gonna keep looking over here just in case there's anything else. All right, well, let's test it out. Go grab our plank. I have to find a way to get more stamina than this. Ah, oh, our plank. Did it come back to here? It did, okay. Gotta be a way to get more stamina. I'm sure there will be. Game's like, chill your roll, you just started. Uh, wrong way, this way, this way. Oh shit, I went the wrong way, shit. All right, well, we're going around. Can I rotate it? Like rotating it would be very handy. I feel like the water is poisonous, yeah? Okay, uh, I, I don't appear that I can rotate it, so here's what we're gonna do. Cancel, run this way from it. Grab it. Oh, baby. Now we are, as they say, cooking with gas. Too easy. And it stayed. Let's go. Let's go. 
Ice arrows. A bundle of five ice arrows. They break apart on impact, freezing objects in the immediate area. Incredibly effective against hot things. Fire arrows. Incredibly effective against cold things. Ah, video game logic. Never change. All right. Uh, so near the tower, I think there was maybe another thing or two that I wanted to try. I think it's that thing right there, potentially, but I don't know. Um, however, I think what makes the most sense right now... Oh, Lord, don't fall. Is let's just keep following this little plateau over here. Wherever it goes. Let's do some exploring. I think we're working vaguely towards the... Well, probably this, if I had to guess. But also maybe just exploring? <laughs> I don't know. I'm kind of thinking maybe the game will give me a uh, an ex a way to understand doing heat stuff. And if not, then we can always just go back to the sand uh, to the snow and figure it out from there ourselves. Doing heat stuff, by the way, that's the technical term. Ooh, okay. This is gonna be. We're gonna want to use our bow. Okay, let's do a little bit of a. Wait, they're fighting each other? Oh, they are fighting each other. Let me take out the book coblin or whatever. That was a total miss. How do I switch arrows? Okay. There's a good one. Oh, Lord. Come here. Come here, you. Come here. I want to hit you with my sword. Nope, you're just... Oh, no. You're just all running. Will you come at me? No, you ran away. Okay. I guess I could shoot you with a bow. I thought I should hit you with my sword, though. Oh, okay, there's a uh, squirrel somewhere over here. Oh, hello. Can you not see me? There's loot up top over there. You can't see me. You can't see me. You can't see me. There you are. Okay, you're dead. Uh, What do you got here? Anything good? Any loot that is not this shield? Or this club? No? Okay. I mean, I think we should just try shooting, yeah? I don't want to use all my arrows. I obviously want to have some, like, cold and heat for, uh... For when we have... Things that require those as maybe a solution. But, you know. Hey, okay, nothing over here. Um, I, I still don't have the ladder. I, <laughs> I'm still really struggling with the ladders in this game. We'll figure it out. It also appears that the chests uh, maybe aren't unlocked until you defeat all the enemies. They really want you to do combat. Okay. You, I have to try and kill. You just disappeared. How did you do that? That was incredible. Just went behind a tree and disappeared. Aha! Let's see if we can't kill one of these boars from a distance with a arrow. That drawing your bow mechanism, very cool. Okay, you are on fire. Nope, where'd you go? No, don't run away. No, you're so far. 
too far. Hey, that's the old man. A stamella shroom. Grows near trees in the forest. Chock full of natural energy. Stamina restoration. Let's go. I need that. Stamina is the thing I'm most confused about. <laughs> well, well, well. So we meet again. What are you doing? Huh? Can you not see that I'm hunting here? You'll scare off my prey like that. At least crouch down a bit. Okay. If I crouch and then I talk to you? Quiet now. Mm. Quiet, please. I'm still hunting. Crouch down. Approach your prey quietly to ensure you not be noticed. Mm. When you're close enough, the detection is nearly imminent. Draw your bow. Let your arrow fly. Aim thoughtfully, and you should be able to take down your prey with a single arrow. Okay. Mm. Let me try that then. Bunches of arrows. Let's go. Will you teach me how to cook, old man? I need the help, honestly. Okay. Uh, let's try and do some hunting. There's a bird of some sort right there. Like a like a turkey or something. Okay. All of them are gone. Nope, there they are. All right, so let's check out this distance that we're that's needed here. If I move really slowly, volume gets real low. This feels very close. Ah, that'll do it. It nearly killed me, but uh raw meat. Incredible. We did it. That was fun, actually. Not bad at all. This, oh, there's nothing better than just being in a magical world where around every... It's like, it reminds me of... We're, we're playing this game, obviously. We are, we are being so playful in this game. This is the thing that I love about video games that, you know... I talk about this all the time, but I have a master's degree in creative writing. Like, I've spent a lot of my life studying books, you know, another imagination-filled medium. The thing I love about video games is that they just beg you to play around. Just experiment. Just chase whatever fills your fancy. Your, your fancy. Why is there a yellow flower that disappears when I get close to it? Like a... Either I'm about to be tricked by a fairy. Or... I found a Korok. Yeah, ha You found me. Huh? You're not Hestu. But you can see me? I didn't know your kind could see the children of the forest. Well, if you run into Hestu, please return this to him. A Korok seed. I found a Pikmin. A small seed was given to you by a Korok. It has a distinct smell. If you gather a bunch of them, you'll never know what may happen. Okay. Oh, and my friends are hiding in lots of different places, too. Don't be shy about poking your nose into suspicious places. Tweehee! Tweehee! Oh, you're delightful. You're a delightful little beast. Children of the forest. Okay. They do kind of look like Pikmin. Okay, there's a fire over here, and I have now hunted something, so I feel like we should... Get to the fire, tell him, he, and he's going to teach us how to cook stuff? Please, please. Hmm, huh. what is it? My back is aching. I clearly need to take a little break. Say, courageous one, are you hungry? If so, please feel free to use my cooking pot to whip up a snack. If you need to start a fire, just light your torch on that campfire over there. Just open your inventory. Grab hold of your ingredients and toss them in. Try to consider how the ingredients will complement each other. If you play your cards right, you may even end up with a dish that can help protect you from extreme cold. That's what I need. All about being creative and trying different things. Oh ho ho. 
Okay. So I need a torch. Hey. Sit by the fire? No, 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 no. And then I need to... Wait, wait, wait. It said have them out. Hold. Oh, I just told him. Okay. Um. So what do we want to use? I think we want to use meat. We have these berries. Cook with it to create dishes that raise your body temperature, help you withstand the cold. So I think let's put this out. Oh, I can hold two out of five. Okay. Uh, all right. Uh, let's add a hot-footed frog. Nope. Let's add a mushroom. An apple. And a... Hyrule Herb. So we have half, half, one, one, and half. And let's see what happens here. <laughs> that was awesome. Did I get seven hearts? Wait, hold up. Does that do, wait, wait. <laughs> Wait, does that do seven hearts? Is that what it's saying? Heart five plus two? I only have three. I think I used too many items. Grants low level cold resistance. Sweet dishes made by heaping tasty fruits into a pan. Simmering until tender. Check your meal's ingredients by selecting it from your inventory, then selecting recipe. Ooh. I cooked something. Hmm, let's take a look at what you cooked up there, shall we? <laughs> not bad. Certainly not good, but not bad either. I encourage you to experiment with some different ingredient combinations. <laughs> the variety of food one can make out here in the wild is quite remarkable. Hmm. Uh, okay. Let's try one more thing. Sure, sure, sure. You're going to give me your paraglider, but it's just going to take some sweet time. I get it, I get it. Uh, let's try one more thing here. Let's try just holding a shroom and another shroom. This would be one full heart together and some stamina. And then let's see if the added thing is it's now two full hearts and it instantly refills some of your stamina wheel. Okay. Damn, I thought it was going to, uh, like, increase your stamina recovery, but it just gives you a little bit more of your stamina meat. Okay, okay, sure. Great. Well, we learned something there. God, this forest is so cool right now. <laughs> I just keep hearing noises. I think. What is that? I keep hearing noises and then I keep looking into the distance. I think this might be a great place to call our third episode. We've just made our first meal. We've explored some more. Let's see if the old man has something to say about our new meal we cooked. Take a look at what you cooked up. Hmm. Not bad, certainly not good. Sure. All right, whatever. That's going to do it. Uh, a little bit of a shorter episode, but, you know, uh, I think sitting here until the morning is a fantastic way to just kind of put it into this episode, put it to bed, and uh, get ready for a fresh new start tomorrow. I really hope you guys are enjoying these episodes. I'm going to... Uh, Oh. I've got to play more of this game as soon as I possibly can so that you guys can have daily episodes and so that I can play it because I'm interested. Uh, I'm very interested. Between episodes, I actually texted my wife and said, hey, Meg, uh, 
I bought Breath of the Wild on our Switch, and you need to play it ASAP so that we can talk about it. I think she would love it, and I want her to play it. Uh, so, that's going to do it for this episode. Thanks so much for watching. I hope that you enjoyed it. If you did, a like, a positive comment, a heart. You can leave a heart down in the comments below. YouTube loves hearts. That's what I hear. Uh, yeah. I can't wait to continue recording. Uh, but that's going to do it for this episode. I'll see you all, all tomorrow. Have a great rest of your day. Much love from me to you. Bye-bye.